So here is my review of the Lumag MD500 Mini Tract Dumper. Um, I've had it for just over two years now. Um, it's a real good workhorse. Um, I'll run through a few of the good points and you know the odd sort of slightly negative points, um, but it really has been used as a as a workhorse for the last couple of years and saved us all at my company a lot of back pain. Um, so the first points to add are we um, we added uh, some greedy boards. Um, just fitted them out ourselves. Uh, really simple, just some. 12 mil ply might change that to 18 at some point just to make it a little bit more sturdy but it's worked absolutely fine um, it's just allowed us to get a bit more in there really um, we've carried quite a lot of weight in there um, I've used it for all sorts of different applications from um, digging footings um, and transporting all the excavated soil out to the front of jobs um, for grab loaders um, to transporting Hardcore, big, you know, big old chunks of concrete and that out for grab loaders again, and um, transporting the bricks as you can see there in it and bl concrete blocks and such. Um, a typical pack of 88 concrete blocks is about 1600 kilos, and we put a good 24 in there at times, so you're looking at 400 plus kilos just on that, um, and it copes with it absolutely fine. Um, it's got it's got three gears plus reverse. Um, typically we'll use it in second. Um, third is if it's empty and we're running around somewhere from front to back empty. And first if we're on a real tight turns with a heavy load. Um, but we've carried, you know, uh, we've carried five meter long uh, block and beam floor beams on here. Um, I built a frame to go inside and we were carrying three or four I think. Um, obviously it makes it a little bit awkward to steer but uh, you know we had a good hundred meters to take these beams and um, it certainly saved us a lot of lifting. Uh, a couple of points, other changes we made, we uh, we put these four sort of spring locks in instead of these pins which are just redundant now, they, the pins typically go in here so that it can tip you know, so you can flat the front down and tip, but to be honest, that, you know, you're, you're better off just taking the front off completely to tip, um, which is what we do. But adding these spring things in just enabled us to be able to take it off quicker and put it back on quicker. These, these are quite flimsy. And when you're tracking forwards and backwards, obviously you get a little pin usually that goes through this little hole, little R, R spring clip but they inevitably get lost, so it becomes, they just end up falling out <coughs> as you're driving around from the vibrations. We lost one of the uh, the corner sort of uh, front front panel, you know, adjusty things. Um, that is meant to be there, and it releases the front so that it can tip forward. We lost one, so we're just using a bit of metal, which works fine. Um, the handle, the clutch handle, snapped um, around this area. This is actually a new handle, but uh, we just wanted to brace it with a bit of 22 mil um, mains water pipe that we split down the middle, um, just to give it a bit of extra strength. A lot, what you have to do is you have to press this yellow lever down and then enable the clutch. Um, but typically, you know, the young lad who works for me would push down it without doing that and it would just bend the handle slowly. It was getting worse and it eventually snapped. It also helps to just add a little bit of WD-40 or something, some sort of grease to these points. And that really helps this with that movement. Um, other points are we sort of, you know, the weights that we were putting in here, it can take half ton, um, but you can't lift it with this handle to tip it when it's got that sort of weight in it, um, which we were sort of doing, and um, it snapped just here. Um, so we welded it back, put a couple of bolts through, sprayed it over. Um, we don't really use this handle too much now. We just lift uh, one of us each side to lift, um, but we can get a good 
if we're digging excavations I've got a mini digger a TB016 Takuchi um, we'll get a good three to four scoops out of a 600 mil wide bucket in here of good dry soil um, out of a dig or sand um, if it's wet you'll get about three um, but that's just one of the piles you know that, that, that we've made I've done this numerous times we've gone up to about twice that height just by continually making out a level load a bit of shoveling around and then driving up on it and making another level and continually doing that um, for grab loaders I think one of the benefits of that over a high tip um, mini dumper is that inevitably going up on soil the, the dumper will lean over to one side and obviously you raise a bucket up on that and you're likely going to have your whole machine over um, so it's swings and roundabouts with the fact that you know it hasn't got a fully automated sort of electric tipping action this is the tipping action here you know you would have to release that handle and lift. It does have a hydraulic ram to assist, um, but it works absolutely fine. Um, you know, it's fantastic. The only other points that we've had are, I think we had the engine dialed up too much or something or other, um, and we lost the this thing, exhaust muffler or whatever it is. Um, the weld broke just here. Um, I did ring Lumag for a price for the part, but to be honest, the price was quite high. Um, and it is effectively the Honda 200cc engine. Um, it's just the Chinese cheap knockoff, which is the Lon Lonsin or Longkin engine. Um, to be honest, that hasn't missed a beat. That will start in whatever weather. Um, you know, below freezing temperatures, it starts first time. Just make sure you know you use the choke. Um, but I ended up replacing this just off eBay for a 20 quid jobby, which works absolutely fine. Um, when I replaced the handle, this clutch lever, I did find that the, you know, again, it, it was very expensive. I, I recall about 50 to 60 pounds with postage um, from the Lumag dealer. Uh, I think that's quite expensive for what it is. It's literally, it was literally just this bit here coming up. Um, but they had me buy the short and curly, so I had to pay it. Um, but other than that, the, the thing's brilliant. You know, it works fantastically. We've done a few mods. We've also broken a few bits on it, but nothing that's ever stopped us completely. The on-off switch doesn't work anymore, so we just pull the spark plug off at the moment until I can get that fixed. Um, but other than that, it's saved us an awful lot of backache. It's it's brilliant. You know, it's uh, it's it's never sort of broken down as such and caused us any massive issues. Um, but it's certainly certainly paid its money um, or earned its money rather. I have had it serviced at a local garden machinery um, company. Uh, you know, like with all things like cars and that, obviously the dealers charge you quite a bit more. I think it cost me about fifty or between 50 and 70 pounds to have it serviced. I put new spark plug on it and new pull cord and things like that. Um, but really we give it a pressure wash every now and then. Um, and that's about it. But uh, I'll try and start it up. We'll see that doesn't work, but we'll leave it on. on. Um, just flick the choke over. I'll just give it some throttle. And, uh, Never a problem to start. Uh, it's a bit funky going into gear when you first buy it. You've got to sort of half to press the clutch um, and then move it over into gear. Reverse is on the right. We've lost our markings now. Um, there's one. That's second. And there's third. Um, it's a little bit funky going into gear when you get started, but you soon get the hang of it. After a day or so, but it works a dream. But, uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, post them in the comments and uh, I'll try to answer them. But really, it's a, it's a top machine. You know, 
is especially for the price compared to other ones out there. I have actually seen one exactly the same, um, which is from a different brand, but I'm guessing they're all made in the same place. Um, so it's worth shopping around. You know, I think it is a bit cheaper, but uh, you know, certainly on ordering it, I had no issues with Blue Mag. Um, I'd say the only thing I found is the after sales is a bit. I'd, I'd hope for more, you know, um, just a, a, a bit of a better after-sales service would be would have been really beneficial. So, but it's a, it's a little lacking there. Um, so yeah, hope you uh, appreciate the review. I certainly would have appreciated a, a really good English sort of in-depth review when when I was looking for one. So hopefully it benefits someone out there as well. Cheers.